two sides in similar veins of form, but at very different ends of the table meet at the People's Pension Stadium today as Crawley Town host Forest Green Rovers. The visitors sit fifth in the table, found just one win over the busy end of December and New Year period, but can still launch themselves into third if they find a victory away from home. However, having scored in just two of their last seven games in the division, the Rovers will need to end their striking slump against a Crawley side that are unbeaten in three, and have a fine attacking catalyst in Bez Lubar spearheading their front line. And it's a pause before kickoff. off tributes pay to the Forest Dream Rovers under 18 manager Chris Barker, who certainly passed away recently. Stuck down in the corner there. Is eventually a way out of it. To back heel as well, Mondal. And straight down the throw to the keeper. Comfortable one to start really for Glenn Morris. It's build up play from the visitors. Well to get out of a difficult position. But really lacking any sort of power from Brown. Lubala. He's been so good this season so far. Goals in the league, two assists. Cameras in support behind. If it needs to come back, it's lofted in towards the back post instead. Palmer nods in a cross goal. What an early chance that was for Crawley. Wasted in the end. Madison just can't find the target with his effort. Excellent work from the big centre forward Palmer to nod it back across goal. Really. Forward should have done better with the finish. Camera. Keep hold of possession, but he can support the attack now as once again Crawley come forward. And there is Camera inside. Lovely layoff to the edge of the box. The strike note. Once again, a comfortable one for Adam Smith. Mubala trying to add to his goal tally. Had to take it first time with the defender closing him down quickly. in the heart of the pitch but easily given away as well as Adams is able to find Brown he's got support to his left the one though that Morris is able to hold very easily There's no power in the strike from distance it's the last bit of the attack that's really been lacking for the away side Free kick play continues as Palmer tries to see off almost four defenders. Camera for the edge of the area, fine save, and another brilliant stop by Smith. Superb work to deny Nadison. The Forest Green Rovers keeper is earning his paycheck today. It's a good strike, this first one. Down low to the keeper's right. It's a fantastic follow-up as well. Once again, Smith, more than a match to it. Shepard. Went low with the cross and couldn't find a teammate. Madison comes back the other way. Red shirts flooding forward to support the attack. Palmer, though, can't be picked out. Still might have a chance as camera pulls the trigger, but it's always dragging wide didn't have the patience to wait for others to arrive. Nubala was there on this near side, trying to get forward. Camera fancy to go himself, gets his effort all wrong. Forward by Morris. It's a lovely pass from the goalkeeper. Great bit of distribution. Strong challenge by Smith, but the loose ball still might fall to Lubala, who's going to fight for it and tuck it into an empty net. Adam Smith, who has been so good in the opening 45 minutes, commits a costly error. And there's Lubala, who has been the man in the right place at the right time for Crawley all season long. He's once again there just to tuck it home. Keeper caught in no man's land. Though there's a finger of blame to point at the defenders as well. They could have rectified the situation. Crawley lead 1 0. Adams 
thought about the crossing from deep. Another chance to do so. Just stuck on the edge of the final third hit. Winchester keeps it wide, wanted it back on the overlap two on that right side. It's a good save by Morris to keep out the effort. Back into the box it goes again. Already struggling to get it away, but Lavalle can bring it forward. This was going to go. Shepard is down on the deck. Fingertip stop that from Glenn Morris. It will be worked in this second half for sure. Stuck on this near side of the pitch. The red shirts making life very difficult indeed to find a way through. Lovely touch to bring the ball away from danger by Camera. Here he is again, getting it back at his feet, moving it down the right sideline. Madison, difficult angle, chipped it almost into Smith's arms. Could have done a lot better with the position that he found himself in. His touch just a little heavy, takes it too far wide. Wasn't a cross, wasn't a shot, was an easy collection. Winchester. Turned by Brown. Three red shirts in front of him, so he lays it off instead. Still not clear. McGinley sends it back into the box, it's an own goal. Disastrous for the home side just after the hour mark. Tunnicliffe with the diving header into his own net. Had no idea whether there was a man behind him or not. Don't think he really needed to intervene either with the cross from McGinley. He did. And it's to his detriment. Space to move into for Collins. Support left and right. Goes across to this near side, McGinley. Can he try and cultivate something once again? Free header! And Morris is there to tip it away. And grab it at the second attempt. improved performance from Forest Green Rovers in this second half. Morris has been worked on a number of occasions. Well, one in the middle of the park, stumbling and bumbling forward the substitute. Here we go no further than midfield, Crawley. They have to get their defensive heads into gear once again. Collins continues to find McGinley. He continues to run at the defence. That had to be tipped wide by Morris just in case. Took a deflection off the defender. I think it was going into the side netting anyway. Even though it wasn't too short. So Nathan McGinley once again causes havoc on this left side of the attack. Into the box it goes. Headed away once again. It's a very crowded area indeed. Safely out of play and away. The right end of the pitch for the home fans. And that is the full time whistle. A share of the spoils for Crawley and Forest Green Rovers. The wayside drop to seventh in the league table. It's a fine watch for the neutral. Neither side could find a winner. It finishes Crawley Town 1. Forest Green Rovers 1.